Welcome to Smart Champs. Uh, this is solving physics problems, problem solving sessions, motion in a straight line. So, uh, this is a video on a very nice problem. A particle is moving with a uniform retardation along a straight line, covers the distances A and B, covers the distances A and B in successive intervals P and Q seconds. The acceleration of the particle is given by 2 times aq minus bp divided by pq into p plus q, 2 times bp minus aq by pq into p plus q, 2 times aq minus b plus bp divided by pq into p plus q, and then last 2 into aq minus bp divided by pq into p minus q. Option A is the correct answer. So, how it is, how we should solve this, how we should go about this question. We'll discuss in next few minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead. So I'm clearing the question. Hopefully you can pass the video and then see the question and note down the options. So what I do is let's write the information first. What is the information given? Is that this is the point A and point B and point C, three points are there. Assume that AB distance is small a and BC distance is small b, consider like this. And now to cover the distance of AB, it took a time p seconds. And it, for to cover the distance of BC, it took q seconds. This is the information what they have given. And they said that the particle is undergoing uniform retardation. So if I work out in terms, and they ask the acceleration at the end. If I work out the equation in terms of acceleration, so the acceleration is negative in nature, that's what we have to keep in mind. So for the distance AP, how the equation we get, apply the equation S equal to ut plus half a square. Here S is A, assume that, assume, initial velocity initial velocity is equal to u this is my initial velocity and acceleration is f assume this so the acceleration is negative in nature so we'll put minus f over here that would be much better and now we'll go ahead with the problem how the problem shall be solved and now we apply the equation for the first condition a is equal to ut that is u we assume the initial velocity u instead of time time is p seconds to cover u p minus y minus acceleration is negative in nature so minus half f e square so this is the distance covered in the first p seconds Next, we'll go ahead. I'll clear the question over here. So, let's solve this. So, a is equal to up minus half a p square. And next, to cover the total distance ac, that will be the distance a plus b, it took p plus q seconds. So, you can write u into p plus q minus half f into p plus q whole square. This one can write the equation. And now, from this equation, let's find what is the value of u. u can be found out as a plus half f p square divided by p. This substitution we are going to do here. And now from these two terms, we can take p plus q as common and send it to this side. So we can divide with p plus q on either side. So we get a plus b divided by p plus q is equal to u minus half f into p plus q. Okay, here itself we can modify the equation further. But u is equal to a plus half f p square by p. So we can write it as a by p 
my plus half of p of p like this i am dividing this with p so i get that i am now i get like this minus half of p minus half f q half f p is gone on either side and now we will transport the half f q to this side so i get half f q is equal to a by p we will transport this term this side a by p minus a plus b by p plus q this is what i get and now just have to pick up the lcm and transport the q by 2 onto the other side that's all we have to do so half f q is equal to a p plus a q so this is like this this is like this we can do minus a p minus b p whole divided by p into p plus q is what we have a p a p gets cancelled now what what is left is a q minus b p divided by p into p plus q now we'll transport this q by 2 on the other side so we get f is equal to 2 times a q minus b p divided by p q into p plus q hence the answer that's the option a you can find it yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching the video thank you very much thanks for your support